Hey what's up guys, Handy Coco here, welcome to my video on my EcoFlow River portable power station on tips, tricks and problems encountered along the way of 6 months. So tip number 1 would be to label your device. Labeling your device will make it easier to know which device you would be using on your phone to whichever room, say bedroom, lounge and so on. For tip two would be to enable UPS mode. UPS mode is going to allow the device to stay on while you have a power cut. So as soon as the power cut happens, you will automatically switch to UPS mode, leaving your TV or PlayStation, whatever device you have charged to it, will stay on. Now tip number three would be to enable the slow charging mode. Slow charging mode is going to prolong the life of your batteries whereas if you are charging your, your batteries at a higher rate it's going to decrease the lifespan. Now tip number four I would have to say is when your device is in UPS mode or you are using your TV or laptop or whatever device that is able to lower the power drawn through the device lower the brightness of the TV slash laptop slash any anything that you can take control over the power outage bring it down as much as you can and it will prolong the actual battery time you have during that power outage now with this unit if I lower my TV down to 0% backlight on my TV I can get about five to seven hours of usage on the on the power station. For tips five, six, seven, eight, and nine, I'll go through them a little bit quicker. For tip five, make sure you frequently check your firmware on your power station. Doing this will give you the latest updates and make your device run smoothly. Okay, then. Tip number six, make sure this device is always well ventilated. Do not put it in a closed off cupboard and let it build up heat. Number seven, plug only your necessary devices into this power station. For number eight, never let the power station discharge below 10%. This could be very damaging to the batteries and will affect the lifespan of this power station. The last tip I have to offer is when you're not using your power station, let's say at night when you go to bed and you don't need it to power your TV or whatever is plugged into it, turn off DC mode and it will completely stop whatever is running through the device and keep the device cool. For the problems of the power station, the only major problem I experienced with this power station was a couple months back where the battery was discharging too quickly. When I say too quickly, I'm saying within half an hour the, the battery would discharge from full to empty. The only way I fixed this was I got into contact with the, the guys at EcoFlow, great support by the way, and they got back to me the next day saying try um, discharge the battery to 0% and then charge it to full. Repeat this three times and then see if the problem persists. They said if it persists again, try and upgrade the firmware. And once I updated the firmware, it fixed the problem completely. Plugged it back in. I've been using it since then with no issues. So I do think it was a firmware issue. Now they have fixed it. That is honestly the only problem I have encountered with this power station. Okay, my overall impression on this power station is I am very impressed with it. It handles a lot. It lasts a long time. It is worth it. It, it was a little bit expensive when I bought it, but in the long run, it's helped me. It's helped my business. And I would suggest it to anyone that asks me. If you need a little bit more, they do offer the bigger power stations. Have a look at their website. This video is non-sponsored by them, by the way. 
Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the video.